actually out in my backyard right now doing some bird photography at my feeders because it's snowing. And what better time to do some bird photography than when it's snowing? It's beautiful out right now. It's a really light snow. And even though a lot of these are what would be considered common species, it's still great practice and still get some great pictures out of it. So if nothing else, it is practice for when you have more elusive or rare species, practicing on the species that come to your backyard every day gets you ready for that. So that's what I'm doing and hoping to still get some great pictures in the process. I have about a dozen birds right in front of me right now, maybe 10 yards away. And the great thing about the snow is we have about six inches of snow right now. And because it's snowing, food is scarce, the ground is covered, so they're all coming to the feeders. I have my one feeder station set up right in front of me, and then I have another feeder station set up over that way with my blind set up. So I'm just doing some pictures and some videos here of these birds, and then I'm gonna go set up in my blind and do some photography and bird watching over there. Right now I have dozens of red-winged blackbirds, brown-headed cowbirds, European starlings. Sorry, my ring's going off. And I'm just trying to get some pictures of them alone. It's hard to get them where it's just one bird in the frame because there's so many birds in the area. But I had some great opportunities with a, uh, a female northern cardinal. And there's some morning doves as well. So. So there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of choices, and I'm just trying to stick with one bird so that I can kind of follow that one bird and wait for the perfect opportunity to get the picture. Because um, a lot of times if you have so many birds right in front of you and you try to go back and forth to different birds, you're just going to miss more shots than you're going to get. So um, we'll see if I can get some isolated birds in the frame.
another great thing about working in a blind like this is it really forces you to concentrate and hone your skills on being able to focus and track birds really close to the minimum focusing distance of your lens, which is really hard to do, especially with a 600 millimeter lens. You have such a, a, a narrow field of view that when the birds move quickly, which they always do, it's hard to keep them in frame, it's hard to keep them in focus. So it's another thing you can practice on and do just right in your backyard. So when you have the chance to do it out in the field with a, a more elusive species that you don't see all the time, uh, you're actually going to be able to get good results with it instead of missing the shot because you just haven't practiced or haven't been able to practice. I've had a couple folks ask me, you know, they want to get into video, they, they do photography, but they want to get into video, maybe start their own channel, or just be able to do things posted on social media, and ask me some tips and stuff like that for how to start getting better videos. Really the best thing I can, I, I can advise is to get more comfortable with manual focus. Um, a lot of these newer cameras, they have all sorts of autofocus uh, gizmos and gadgets and features and different modes. But when it comes to shooting video, a lot of times they're still lacking, especially with wildlife. Things just move too quickly. Sorry, dog next door is out. Um, but the, the birds especially just move way too quick on the branch, especially the small songbirds. So using manual focus, turning on focus peaking if you have it, and doing it by hand that way. It takes some practice, takes some getting used to, but the results are usually much better than relying on autofocus, especially when you're taking video and the, you hit the autofocus button and it just jumps and shoots back and forth. Sometimes it works okay, um, and especially if you're kind of in a hurry, you just quickly switch to video, um, tapping the autofocus button every now and then um, does work, but if you really want that nice, clean, smooth video, um, I find manual focus works the best. There's a blue jay in the distance. Uh, it hasn't come over towards where all the food is yet. Um, hoping that it might. It's kind of calling out in the distance, but the female northern cardinal just came back. And right now I just have juncos and some sparrows out. Uh, White-throated and house sparrows. Not much else activity. It looks like all the blackbirds, the red-winged blackbirds, the uh, brown-headed cowbirds, and the starlings have all flown off. Which is nice because they were eating all the food. I think that's gonna be it for me today. I uh, just wanted to bring you along on this short little video out in my backyard doing some photography in the snow. 
Uh, it's such a great atmosphere. I really suggest if you can get out in the snow, even if it's in your backyard, uh, do it. The pictures usually come out phenomenal. Um, but that's going to be it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.